Hot 1079, Hot Spy, ATL.com. It's K Simone on the red carpet for the BET Hip Hop Awards. And of course, I got my guy DJ Cassidy. How you feeling? I'm amazing. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm wonderful. So talk about what you're going to be doing here tonight, okay? So tonight, directly after the BET Awards, I'm premiering the 10th and final edition of Pass the Mic, mm -hmm. the grand finale, the culmination, two years, 10 episodes, 220 iconic artists, 166 iconic hit records, and tonight I'm passing the mic to 20 hip-hop superstars, all who changed the game and transformed hip-hop into a global force to be reckoned with. Tonight I'm passing the mic to Busta Rhymes, I'm passing the mic to Method Man, I'm passing the mic to The Locks, I'm passing the mic to Too Short, I'm passing the mic to Ice Cube, and about 15 other hip-hop legendary figures. Absolutely. Well, listen, I know one person that you passed the mic to, and this one person is actually hosting this this event tonight. So talk to me about, you know, your relationship with Fat Joe. Talk to me about that whole, that whole past the mic uh, video with him. So my relationship with Fat Joe is about 30 years long because I was a fan of his before he ever knew my name. I waited in line at the record store in New York City to buy his first album. I had Flo Jo on 12 inch. I was a little hip hop kid in New York City and I loved Fat Joe. So to call Fat Joe a friend is truly an honor. Fat Joe is the modern day hip hop personality. There was no one who should be hosting the hip hop awards other than Fat Joe. And last year on Pass the Mic BT, uh, uh, last year on Pass the Mic BET Awards edition, I passed the mic to Fat Joe and Ashanti, and they did What's Love, and it was absolutely epic. It was. That's the one I saw. It was so epic, okay? okay. You need to go home and watch the other eight episodes before this one airs. Okay, I got you. I'm definitely going to be on it. But you did say something that I truly, truly adore, is the fact that, you know, somebody that you were, like, Fat Joe didn't even know who you were, and now in the circle back, you know, look at who you are, look at where you are. You know what I mean? Think about, talk about that transition for me, like, just being that kid in New York City who was such a hip-hop head to now being able to have this past the mic here. I really just had one dream as a kid when I was 10 years old and my parents bought me turntables. My only dream was for my favorite rappers to know my name. If you'd have told me Fat Joe would know my name, I'd have laughed in your face. If you'd have told me Tretch from Naughty by Nature would know my name. If you'd have told me Run and DMC would know my name. Any figure in hip-hop whom I admired, if you would have told me they would have known my name, I would have laughed in your face. So to be here tonight celebrating hip-hop, saying hello to so many hip-hop superstars who, whom, whom I've admired and idolized my whole life is truly surreal. My first job here tonight is to pay homage and give thanks to hip-hop. Absolutely, and we are definitely going to be paying homage and giving thanks to hip-hop tonight. Thank you so much, DJ Cassidy. I'm looking so forward to this past the mic, okay? Thank you for having me. Absolutely.